Three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, <laughs> and an internet communicator. An iPod, <laughs> a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. When Steve Jobs introduced the original iPhone back in 2007, most people said this will be a complete failure. A phone with the keyboard on a screen that you touch with your finger made out of glass? But little did they know that the iPhone would change the entire mobile phone industry. Fast forward 10 years and we're at the iPhone 7. But that's not the topic of today's video. Today we're talking about the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 5S was released in 2013. It was the first iPhone to feature Touch ID, which allowed you to authorize purchases with the touch of your finger. It had a home button made from sapphire crystal. It had an 8 megapixel 1080p HD camera that is still very impressive even today. And in 2017, the iPhone 5S is still getting soft updates from Apple. But is it worth it in 2017? I would say it is, and here's why. For just $125 today, you can get an unlocked iPhone 5S running the latest version of iOS, iOS 10. And you can expect it to be able to get iOS updates up to iOS 11, 12, and maybe even 13. Though, there's no solid evidence about that. It is still fast enough for most people, and iOS 10 is surprisingly still very well optimized for use on this device, giving up almost no performance when compared to iOS 8, and in some cases having better benchmark scores than iOS 8. So should you get, not, so should you get one? My answer to that question is definitely a yes. With that being said, thank you for watching, and if you like this type of content, subscribe and get notified whenever I upload videos by clicking the bell. Stay tuned for next week's video about the iPhone 5.